Good afternoon you two, I hope you're all having a lovely day and really enjoying all of your home learning. Welcome to our first art lesson of term four. Now, as I mentioned yesterday, our topic this term is wriggle and crawl, so all of our art lessons this term are going to be about mini beasts, so very exciting. The first thing I would like you to do in today's lesson is write today's date and skill into your book please. The date today is Tuesday the 23rd of February 2021 and your skill is to use collage to create a mini beast inspired by the snail. So I'd like you to write that in your book now please and then unpause the video when you're ready to begin today's lesson. Okay, today we are going to be learning about the artist called Henri Matisse. So here he is and he was a French artist known for his use of colour and shape. When he was young, he did lots of paintings, and we're going to look at some of his famous paintings today. And, but as he grew older, he began to make striking collages. Now, as you may have noticed from looking at and writing our skill today, we are going to be making a collage today. And a collage is a picture made by using cut out pieces of paper. Okay, so you cut out lots of different color pieces of paper and arrange them to make your picture. Okay. Hen Let's learn more about our artist then. So Henri Matisse was born in 1869 in France. He studied law and became a lawyer. However, in 1889 he developed an appendicitis and became really poorly. While he was recovering, his mother got him some art supplies and he began painting. Henri Matisse's early paintings were very exciting and full of lots of different colours. This style was very different to the work of most artists at the time. This painting is an example of that. So if we have a look at this painting then, this painting is called Landscape of Collioure. Okay, and Collioure is a small town in France and he was staying there and he was so amazed by the nature and was so taken back by the beauty of the landscape that he decided to pay tribute to the landscape by painting it. So I would like you to have a look at his use of colour and the lines that he has used in this painting to create this landscape um, painting and I would like you to discuss his use of colour with the person next to you or a grown up at home or have a little think on your own. So pause the video and do this now please. Okay, well done. Let's have a look at some of his other famous paintings then. So this one is called Woman with a Hat. And this one is called Green Stripe. So I would like you to once again have a think about his use of colour because we know it was very different to how other artists were painting at the time. And I'd like you to, to discuss this with the person next to you or have a little think on your own. Could you go please pause the video. Okay, you can see lots of bright colours there, can't we, in those two. Let's have a look at two more then. This painting is called The Open Window. This is one of my favourites, I like this one. And this one is called A Glimpse of Notre Dame in the Late Afternoon. So once again, I would like you to have a look at the use of shape and the use of colour in these paintings. And I would like you to pause the video and discuss this now, please. Okay, well done. So it's actually a very different use of colour here. So here we've got quite, um, we've got like, like calming colours, haven't we? We've got blue and we've got lovely purple there, haven't we? The outline of um, Notre Dame, so there's not much detail there, it's more of an outline. Whereas here we've got lots of bright, vibrant colours, haven't we? So we've got like a blue part of the wall here and some lovely purple here and then bright orange doors, okay? So very different between the two paintings as well. So Henry Matisse is now a very famous painter. This painting here is called The Dessert Harmony in Red and it was painted over a hundred years ago in 1908. So what I want you to do first of all is I just want you to have a look at this painting, have a look at what details you can see, what's the lady doing, where might she be and I want you to pause the video and discuss this painting now please. Okay. Originally this painting was called Harmony in Blue. But he didn't like the painting when it was finished, so he changed the blue to his favourite colour, red. So I want you to imagine, you're going to have to imagine what this painting would have looked like when um, the red was actually blue. And I want you to think, what do you think you would have preferred? Do you prefer the finished piece that he went with, Harmony in Red? Or do you think you would have preferred Harmony in Blue when the red was originally blue? So I want you to discuss this with your partner, see if they have the same opinion as you. And I'd like you to pause the video and do this now, please. Well done, it'd be really interesting to see what you all think. 
So this painting is thought to be Matisse's masterpiece. Now a masterpiece means that it's an important and impressive painting. Okay, And I want to know, do you agree? So do you think this painting here is his masterpiece? Or do you, do you from your opinion, do you prefer one of the other paintings that we've looked at? So one of the five other paintings that we've looked at previously on the previous slides. What was your favourite? Okay, so I'd like to pause the video and discuss this now, please. Remember, you can always take the video back to have a look at some of those other paintings if you can't remember what they looked like. Okay, pause the video now, please. Okay, well done. I'm sure you've all got a favourite. In 1941, Matisse had serious surgery and began using a wheelchair. At this time, he began to experiment with cutouts and began creating large paper collages with some help from his assistants. And he called this technique painting with scissors, which is a really nice way to describe it, isn't it? He's gone from using paintbrushes and paint, and actually now he's used making collages, and he's called that technique painting with scissors, which is a nice way to think about it, isn't it? Because it's still just as creative. This example is called La Lagune, and is an example of Matisse's collages. So we can see here some of the paper cutouts, we've got some lovely bright purple, haven't we? So we can still see a similarity with his paintings. There's still lots of lovely bright colors. Um, but he's just using paper instead. Okay, in 1952, he established a museum dedicated to his work and it's called the Matisse Museum and it's in La Catu, okay? He died in 1954. So let's have a look then at one of his famous collages that we're going to be focusing on today and using to inspire our own artwork. So this collage is called The Snail Okay, why do you think it's called the snail? Okay, it was created by Henry Matisse in 1953. It consists of a number of coloured shapes arranged in a spiral pattern as suggested by the title. So if we look really closely, it's quite abstract, isn't it? But if we look really closely, we can see this spiral here, okay, that creates the shape of a snail. Matisse first drew the snail with using a pencil, and then, once he'd had his sort of outline and his shape in pencil, he used the coloured paper to interpret it, okay, to make this collage. Today, we are going to use this technique of collage to create our own Henry Matisse-inspired midi beast. So which mini beast could you make using the collage technique today? So think about all of the mini beasts that you know, and which one would you like to make using collage? So just have a little think about this, maybe discuss with your partner, they might think of some mini beasts that you've not thought of. So what mini beasts could we make? Pause the video now please. Okay, so here's some examples then. You don't have to do this one, you can pick another one. But here are some um, examples, so we've got a snail you could just recreate the snail, you might use different coloured pieces of paper, you might arrange it slightly differently, that's absolutely fine. Um, we, you could make a spider, a bumblebee, that's the one I picked in my example, a grasshopper, an ant, a ladybird, that might be quite nice for all the lovely colours, the red and the ladybird, I'm sure as we um, heard earlier, Henry Matisse's favourite colour was red, so that would be very fitting. Um, we can make a caterpillar, this one might be good to do, lots of lovely um, sort of bendy shapes. And we could make a butterfly, now that might be really nice for all of the use of colour too. So I want you just to have a look at these. Are you going to do one of these, are you going to do a different mini beast? And just have that in your, in your head so you know what mini beast you would like to make today. So pause the video and choose your mini beast now please. Okay, so before we start then, before we look at an, exa at an example, and before we start making our own mini beast out of collage, Matisse would often listen to music as he worked. Okay, to get the creative juices flowing, you could listen to some music and have a little dance while you make your collage of your mini beast too. Okay, and you have a little dance like Olaf there. So for this activity, you will need a plain piece of paper, or you can do it in your book, underneath your date and your skill, that's fine, that's your choice. Um, a range of brightly coloured paper or tissue paper, or coloured pencils. So if you're at home and you don't have any um, coloured paper or tissue paper, coloured pencils is fine. You'll see in my example, I didn't have any coloured paper at home, so I decided to make mine using the computer instead. So that, again, you could do that as well, be as creative and imaginative as you want to with this. 
If you do decide to use coloured paper or tissue paper, you're going to need glue and you're going to need scissors too. So if you choose that technique, which we're going to be doing in school, we're going to be using the coloured paper in school, this is your method, this is how you will make it. So you're going to take your scissors and cut out shapes from the brightly coloured paper. And think about your mini bee, so think about the, about the colours you'll use. So if you're uh, making a bumblebee, for example, you might use some black and some yellow and maybe some blue for the wings. And they can be any shape you want, okay? When you have made a pile of brightly coloured shapes, Get your plain paper and start arranging the shapes onto the page. Okay, now you might even like to do what Henry, Henry Matisse did and draw the outline first. That's up to you. Okay, so you're going to arrange, so you're going to get your coloured shapes and arrange the shapes onto the paper to make a picture that looks like your chosen mini beast. Once you're happy with your picture, you can then start sticking your coloured paper shapes down with the glue. So here is my example then. So as I mentioned earlier, I didn't have any coloured paper at home, I didn't have any yellow at home and I really wanted to make a bumblebee. So I decided to make mine on the computer, which you can do too. So I just got some um, different colour um, squared um, boxes, some shapes, and I arranged them to make my bumblebee. So we can see the antennae here and the wings and then we've got the stripy body. Okay. And I created the bumblebee inspired by the snail. And remember, you can always use colouring pencils instead. Okay, so I would like you to start, so pause the video and I'd like you to start making your collage now, please. Off you go. Okay, I'm sure you've had lots of fun making your um, mini beast collages. I'm sure they look amazing. I can't wait to see them all. Um, really exciting to see how creative you've been. So, as your plenary today then, I would now like you to have a go making a Henry Matisse collage out of Lego. I saw this picture and I thought this was really clever. They have made the snail out of pieces of Lego, which is really super cool. So you could make another mini beast, or you could make um, you could make the snail like this, or you could even have a, have a go um, doing a self-portrait, so making yourself as a collage um, out of Lego. So I'm really excited to see these. Please send these pictures in, I'd love to see them. Okay, I hope you've really had lots of fun in this art lesson year two. Goodbye.